And welcome back inside MMA. We're live. And we're here. <laughs> and it's on. Oh, yeah. Getting ready to fight Jason Mayhem Miller. We welcome back Michael Bisbee. Thanks for staying. Frank Trick <laughs> is with us. And Ian McCall, who soon may be in the UFC when all this flyaway stuff works out. Let's hope so. We will find out. Coming up this Friday night to you right here on Inside on the HD Net York. Home for Mixed Martial Arts. You can see XFC 15. That'll be taking place. And it has a story in here of one of the most amazing fighters that you'll probably ever meet. Ron Kruk has the story of a man who has taken a while to make his debut to fight for XFC. Nick Newell has always overcome adversity. Born with a partially developed arm, he faced many challenges and silenced his critics who doubted he could become a successful wrestler. When I began wrestling, uh, no one really paid too much attention to me, you know, they just kind of wrote me off. Honestly, I don't know what it's like to have two hands, so it's just natural to me. Newell silenced his critics and went on to enjoy a successful collegiate wrestling career at Western New England College. Then some of those same critics said, she can't transition into MMA. Well, they were mistaken, as Newell has compiled a 5-0 record since turning pro. You know, everyone has their critics, and if if I just listened to the first person that told me I should have never done anything, I wouldn't even be able to tie my shoes. He doesn't use that as an excuse. You know, he just looks at it and says, you know, I can do what you can do, I just have to do it a little bit different. And when we train him, that's how we do it. It is a disadvantage. You know, I don't have a, a right cross, but um, there's so many things you could do in MMA. I'm missing one thing, you know. But has it been difficult getting fights? It has been trouble for me getting fights. If you look at my record in between fights, it's always at least like five months between a fight before they can find someone that wants to fight me. It's been extremely difficult in securing fights for Nick. A lot of people look at Nick as simply a one-handed entity instead of a fighter. Hoping to get noticed on the national level, Newell decided to participate in the XFC's open tryouts in Connecticut, convincing his longtime friend Abby Mestry to join him. He was not only a great friend, but um, I also looked up to him. He was kind of like a big brother to me. And I was like, Abby, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to this, this tryouts, and uh, and you should come. And he said, Okay, um, I'll go, but you have to drive, and you have to wait, and you have to take me to Taco Bell. So I took him to Taco Bell. Mystery impressed XFC officials and was awarded a three-fight contract while Newell was the runner-up. You notice right away. You notice when someone has that special kind of talent. And uh, so he was one of the guys that we had kind of focused the cameras on. You know, at the end of the day, there's only one person that could, could win the tryout since he rose to the occasion. And he looked great up there, and I was proud of him. The celebration of Abby's accomplishment unfortunately didn't last long as the 28-year-old was tragically killed in a motorcycle accident along this stretch of quiet country road. From what we heard, he had left uh, the facility and was on his way home on his motorcycle and um, the accident had occurred around, I believe, 6.30 in the morning. And he was, he was going too fast and he tried to slow down and uh, wiped out and you know it I mean it's sad that one one mistake like that on something like that can take away the life of such a wonderful person. The tragic accident forced XFC president John Prisco to make a difficult decision about Abby's contract. I always wanted to sign Nick. Nick was best friends with uh, Abby. I said it just makes sense for Nick to take Abby's contract and to fight in this place. It means a lot to us that Nikki Newell is now, uh, will be fighting in honor of my brother. So I think it's great that they are giving me an opportunity to fight and uh, they're making such a wonderful tribute to my friend. Having conquered his physical obstacles, the next challenge for Newell is to overcome a psychological one, the difficulty of losing a friend. In the face of tragedy, you know, you turn to what you love and I love MMA. I think about Abby every every day. Um, you know, every every time we train, a story comes up, and somehow he gets brought up. And, you know, he it sucks that he's gone. You know, he'll never never be forgotten. And he's he's with me all the time. And when I step into the cage, it will be no different. 
thank you, Ron. I mean, this is one of the great stories out there. Uh, everything that he's gone on and dealt with, and Nick Newell now goes on the XFC card coming up on Friday night here on HDNet. Frank, you'll be there uh, calling the action with Michael Chavello. Uh, you know, that, that's the story right there. you got the inspirational setup as well as a solid fight card again. Yeah, the one thing XFC is doing now, they're trying to push so the fights are getting bigger and better. And then Newell kind of, he kind of throws into the, to the game of, of what they're trying to write storylines. You know, we talk about it from pro wrestling, there's always this kind of storyline, but this storyline is, is legit, it's authentic, and it comes out. And I, I've been watching a lot of his fights on YouTube prepping for this, and, and Newell, at first I'm like, all right, it's another gimmick fight. Like, do I really want to pay attention to this gimmick fight? And you start watching him. He's actually got really, really good wrestling ability, a lot better than a lot of guys have that are actual wrestlers coming out of college. He wrestled in college as well, and he comes in, he's got this great MMA style. He knows how to use his disability as an ability while he's in the ring. He knows how to use a short drag. He knows how to use it to get inside. He doesn't do big, heavy double leg takedowns and put, him in, put himself in positions that are going to cause him problems. He stays in there defensively, he understands what he's doing, and he's 5-0 for a reason. And I would like to say it's because he's, he's getting lucky and he's getting by tomato cans, but he's Fighting some tough kids, quality ability, quality yeah. talent is kicking the crap out of them. So this is a guy you have and to pay stoppages attention to. all of them, man. All yeah. five. Now not one went to a decision. And if I remember right, forgive me if I'm if I'm wrong, but I think four by rear naked choke and one's by ground pound. Two yeah. rear naked, two arm bars. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the thing you like to see in a fighter. Yeah. It's like Michael Bisping. He ends them. Yeah, that's the call best, best thing you can do. Don't yeah. the ref, don't the judges have to figure it out. That's it. Here's the rest of that card that you can see live here Friday night at nine Eastern on HD Net. Yo, home for MMA. It's a solid card. I like the fact that they get these guys, some of these guys that we saw there with Nick and all come through tryouts. So, I mean, there's not a whole lot of places to find young fighters these days. You know, not really. And with XFC, too, they're doing a big deal where they got the, women, the women's fight is the co-main event. And in my mind, if I can remember correctly, it's the first time that women have been the co-main event. And Carla Sparza is a two-time All-American collegiate wrestler. And if Felice Herring is a, a great kickboxer with a little bit of wrestling ability, that fight is worthy of a co-main event. And now we get to see it and I get to call it. Everyone knows my feelings on, on women's MMA and, and how, how it kind of falls into this fold. And for me, I'm excited because, you know, now with social networking, yep. Felice is a friend of mine, but we've never met. <laughs> we yep. follow each other on Twitter. We talk all the time via, via the, the social networking space. But it's going to be neat to actually, first time I get to see her live and watch her call this fight. But she's fighting a quality opponent. And, and this is not a gimme for either either one my of the main events. Yeah, this is going to be That's a training partner. Carla's my training partner. Yeah. She is, I, I like to, I really do beat the crap out of her every day. And she's very tough. I mean, she is. She's a right? woman beater. She's a woman, yes. I, I beat women. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, she's a quality, yes. Yeah, I like this guy. She's a quality, quality girl. She's awesome. Girl. <laughs> you shoot on English? Yes, sure. Not without her. But that's the thing about women's MMA now is that it's starting to expand, it's starting to get better. And the women are training with guys because there's not enough female training partners. They train like like men. They do. They train with in, in men aspects. They do everything that we do. But then they go out there to fight other women. So it's, it's interesting to see how they have advanced. I think faster yeah. than the men have because they have to survive just through practice. And they they, they learn faster. They're not men are too. You're saying uh, women are smarter than men. Well, no, we're egotistical. They're not yeah. smarter. What is egotistical? Yeah, their brains are smaller, but they they learn easier. <laughs> so you'll be like it Yeah. And then. Well, we, we met him. We met him at the IFL, remember? Yes, yeah, yeah, Nick, and you know, he's, 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 he's always been, like Frank said, he's a great guy. You know, that's one of the things sometimes people will see and they go, I wonder if this is a gimmick, because we have seen gimmicks. Yeah, and we've we've brought out some of those oh, and yeah. some of these with small organizations. Legs, I mean, yeah, you, you know, you sometimes can. it has, but this is a real deal here. What I really like with the Nick Newell that is that his first wrestling class, he, he he came out and he didn't want to do it anymore. And his mother, I think he owes that to his mother. She said, "No, you are going to go back and you are going to train again." And 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 that's but what he did. He went back, and then, look at this kid, man. I'm really excited. If they don't think women smarter, why do we always follow them around? Why does everybody say hello to mom, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's right. That's Mama's right. boy. London will be leading you around. Yeah. You'll think, yeah, yes. boy, my toughest fight ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they care of London as she grows up. Right. All right, here's what's coming up live on HD at York. Home for Mixed Martial Arts. Okay, there it we is. we talked about XFC. We got Bama 8 coming up. Mark Ward was supposed to be returning.